We're Kathleen and Joseph, and in the summer of 2019, we decided to take our three kids on an epic adventure and stop trading time for money. Tired of the rat race, we took off on an eight-month adventure all over the country. And one thing it did was teach us that life is too short to do anything but follow your dreams. And also that we're better together. It hasn't always been easy, but it's always been worth it. So with following our dreams, we sold our first RV and are currently renovating our fifth wheel. This has definitely been a learning process and we have had our fair share of setbacks, but we're excited to see it all come together. So join our adventure as we turn our fifth wheel into our home and hopefully inspire you to take your next leap of faith. What's going on, sir? Y'all got a reservation? No, sir. We're just going to the park. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking all about McKinney Falls State Park in Austin, Texas. It was amazing. And um, we're gonna try to shoot this video all the way through with like little to no edits because we are filming this same day. So same day that you're watching this, we literally just filmed it a couple hours ago. <laughs> Life has been crazy. The boys started baseball and um, it's just been a hectic week. So, but we wanted to get this video out to you guys and talk about McKinney State Falls, give you guys some tips and, um, and stuff with going with kids. Cause we honestly didn't know what to expect and didn't even know that that was like, where it was at, it was just so the crazy. The location was kind of weird. Like if you're not from Austin or from yeah. that area, uh, it's, it's like not far from like central Austin. Uh, and central Austin by the river downtown is like pretty much all city. Uh, yeah, so where we're so. staying, we've actually been, you guys know if you've been around for a little bit, we've been in Texas for a hot minute. <laughs> Been in Texas and all we've been in yeah since April. Not this part of Texas, but where we're at now, we are only like 30 minutes from Austin, and there's so much to do in Austin. So we are making a whole series of things to do in Austin to try to help you guys plan your adventures. So um, before we get started with any kind of tips and just what we did at McKinney State Falls, McKinney Falls State Park. Um, we wanted to tell you guys about the Texas Park Pass. Um, there are 89 park, state parks in Texas. Amazing, like so amazing. Um, we have yet to visit all of them because there's 89 of them. Um, but when we got to the park, Joseph went in and got the state park pass specifically for disabled veterans. So there are a couple different levels of them um, but what did you have to do? Just go inside and... No, so specifically at uh, McKinney Falls, you have to go in, you have to have your regular ID, doesn't matter what state, but your driver's license, and then you have to have uh, a VA uh, disability letter that has your percentage on there. Uh, you're not gonna be able to show them your VIC card you can't even any, use your plates. Oh, because you no. have to be sixty percent. Yes, because you more. have. Yes, you have to be mm -hmm. sixty percent or more to qualify. And then all, uh, all they do is they they look at it, um, they make sure the name matches your ID card, and then they make you a card and an account. Um, Texas State Parks, uh, different from everywhere we've been. That's a state park. They. They request that you put in a reservation to get into parks because they fill up fast. Yeah. And it's not like most state parks where uh, 
if you just pull up and they see a car leave, they'll let you in. No, if they fill up yeah. as far as reservations, they will, they will not yeah. let you in at all. Mm -hmm. uh, but pretty much they're going to fill up for the day and they're done for the day. And it's super easy to do. You just go online and put your request in. They request that you do uh, put in a reservation because um, once they fill up, they will not let you in. Uh, I don't even know if they man the front anymore once they fill up because they had at least at McKinney State Falls, they had two gates, one at the road, and then you drive up maybe a quarter mile, and then you get to the actual like uh, main guard entrance. Um, so they, sh I'm believing they sh they shut that first gate, so you can't even get in like the park's closed. And that pass was free, right? So it was okay. Yeah. So there's a couple different levels of state park passes. Um, there's some for seniors. There are there's one for like youth groups. So if you have a church youth group, I think 50 people can get in and that's $100 for the year. The If you do not have any kind of disability or VA disability or you're not a senior, um, you have to pay, I think it's $70 and sure. um, you get the Texas State Park Pass and that gives you unlimited free entry when you purchase it. Um, for the pass holder and everybody in the car, I believe. But the free pass, at least the one we have for disabled veterans, yes. it gets you the 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 card holder in free, and then the other adult in the car, it's half off the day use entry fee. Yes. And then I think there's discounts the for camping. Yeah, the and children stuff. are free um, with the with the uh, disabled veteran one. Yeah. Your children are free, and then all adults. Um, outside of the actual veteran or half off. So, um, we actually visited McKinney State Falls. We keep calling it McKinney State Falls. McKinney, F McKinney Falls State Park on Labor Day because it was my birthday. <laughs> and we were originally gonna go to Jacob's Well, but we're just like, okay, it's Labor Day. That's gonna be packed. Let's try to go somewhere where it may not be as packed. And it was, I mean, there were lots of people there, but it was not as packed because I think they do this reservation system. We went early, we were in before two o'clock and we were able to get in without a reservation. But I think because they do the reservation system, it wasn't like crazy packed, um, even for a holiday weekend. So. Um, when we first got there, we did a lot of driving around, <laughs> trying to find um, where we wanted to be to start our hiking. Um, yes, their, their maps are really bad. Um, yeah, it was kind of confusing. Yeah, not to be like a complainer, but uh, I, we've been to a lot of state parks and the maps are kind of different, mm -hmm. but you can figure it out. Yeah. With this map, it was different and then like when you got to locations, you're like, okay, this looks this looks nothing like the map. Yeah. Um, as far as like distances and all that kind of stuff, but. But the map that they give you is actually really cool. Uh, besides the fact that it was kind of hard to navigate, um, was they give you points of interest. So it'll be numbered like one through, I think there's nine, nine or 10 different points of interest. And you can kind of figure out, okay, we know we want to do this, this and this. Um, or you can look at the difficulty of each hike. So we were like, okay, easy hikes, where are they at? And we found the easy hikes, which the first one that we did was the Rock Shelter Trail, and it was literally only half a mile. Um, and it takes you to this amazing little, like, overhang. What's up, guys? It's hot. It's dry. Feels like Arizona. Look, 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 look at this, look at this, look at this. You got cactus out here. What am I back in Arizona? What is going on? It is hot and dry out here. Yes, we found. Where's Daddy going? Daddy's going the wrong way. I'm going. I'm just. Oh, okay. I'm going. You want to? You're pulling up the rear, Mom. Yeah, I was trying to talk to the camera. Okay. Well, I'll pass it back. Where do we go from here? Okay, we're just gonna follow the trail down. Careful, guys. We found, well, we came here to swim, but before we swim in McKinney Falls, we want to see the Rock Shelter Trail. So apparently this is where 
um, Native Americans sheltered about 8,000-ish years ago, and it's this big overhang um, right next to the water. Got you, buddy. Yes. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, you can stand under here? <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. How cool is this? Yes. Oh my gosh. Such amazing history at this park um, when it comes to like where you're hiking and stuff. Um, it's worth going out there. Yeah. They, I would say uh, with small kids. Be careful of spiders. And there's spiders <laughs> and then there's like extreme drop offs. So yeah. like when we hike that trail, one side is like the inside of a cave. The other side is probably a 30 foot drop off. Yeah. Um, so we, we had the boys stay on the inside mm -hmm. of us because the drop off, it's pretty steep and there's nothing but uh, trees on the way down. Yeah. Um, but the other thing that was pretty cool is the rangers. There's a bunch of rangers in these in that state park. Yeah, they, for they some took reason, our picture for us. And they're everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So, like, we were hiking the trail, and I mean, we hear, I was like, man, those look like spider webs. And <laughs> they're not spider webs, they looked like, uh, like, like, like a moss net. ball of yeah. mess, but oh, they were yeah. daddy long legged spiders. Yeah. And uh, Sophia, she was is, slowly fe yeah, freaking she's, out. Like, deathly afraid. And of we were just, kind of we bug. were telling them the whole time, "Those are uh, not yeah. spiders, not spiders." Not I was spiders. like, "I think they're spiders." <laughs> and then I look behind me, and there's a ranger, and he's like, "He's like, yeah, those are those are spiders. Those aren't spiders." <laughs> and uh, but no, they were really cool. They're yeah. everywhere. So you, there are a lot of extreme like hiking there's elevations and stuff. Tons but of tra of, there's of a bunch of trails. rangers around. So if you were to like happen to fall or you know get hurt or injured you wouldn't be out there for hours right. like a ranger would yeah. walk up on you pretty quickly because yeah. they're everywhere they literally were on every trail that mm -hmm. we went out so the rock Sh shelter trail is only like a little half a mile um there's the onion creek trail which is what we started hiking um where you can find the upper falls where there is a big place to swim um, it's that one was pretty busy um, because it's the easiest to get to. So the upper falls, you don't have to hike that long, and no. you get you can right come straight from the parking lot. Yes, on. and then from the bathroom areas, some of them have direct little paths to the the trails to get you to the falls. True. Um, but we didn't want to get wet yet because we hiked that hike before we hiked down to Rock Shelter Trail. And so we wanted to wait and hike that one before we went and got wet because that just wouldn't have been fun for anybody. Um, so we did that first. So if you are thinking about going and swimming, do your hikes first and then your swimming will just be even that much more amazing because you'll be hot and ready to swim. <laughs> yeah, it was... It was it was toasty mm -hmm. uh, that day, so bring sunscreen. And you probably, yeah. yeah we went down there. <laughs> oh, don't do like us. Don't we forget went, sunscreen. We went down there. We didn't have any sunscreen, which is like but we didn't get. No one got burnt. No, because there's a lot of tree coverage, <laughs> yeah. but it's it's uh, only down by the falls and on the trails. Mm -hmm. um, hiking to get down to the uh, one of the falls, it was pretty wide open. Yeah. And the sun was just, it was going hard, so. Yeah, so the, like I said before, Onion Creek goes around the bottom of the map. And then where we hiked is Homestead Trail, I believe, and that's on the top of the park. This trail is like over three miles and you can go and you can see like the original homestead and all that kind of stuff. We did not go that far. Um, there's a lot of points of interest along that trail. We hiked 
the beginning of that trail to get to the lower falls. So that's where we ended up swimming. You have to hike over this like moon rock, which is actually limestone. Yeah, I don't know if it's moon rock, but it feels like it you're looks walking like on the moon. It's limestone, but it, yeah. it, the whole time we were just like, we are walking on the moon. Yeah, so um, and we, um, we, you hike over that and then you'll know you're going the right way because you'll start seeing people coming out of this little entrance that takes you right down to the lower falls. Unless you get there when they open and you're the only people. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when do we ever do <laughs> Right? I'm like, what? Yeah, there's no people. You won't know. <laughs> um, and, and so that's the one that we did. There is a little like shallow area for the kids to swim, which is where the boys swam and yeah. you just we just kind of hung out there and just played in the water there is also like a cove that you can swim into um, but it does get deep in the middle of this cove so all around it is pretty shallow and but as you swim through it it gets pretty deep and you can't touch the bottom unless yeah. you're just a gigantic and person. then didn't you say that and, the rocks down there were slick and the rocks like, are super yeah. slick so I didn't take um, Sophia tried to come with me to the cove and then I we w went back because it just Yes. I mean, there were kids. She's not a, a strong swimmer yet. There were kids just swimming, swimming all over there, jumping off of rocks. I jumped off a cliff because it was my birthday, and I just thought I needed to jump off a cliff. And it was so much fun. It's not super crazy high, but to get up there, you do have to kind of like either hop, get somebody to help you push you up on top of the rock, or you have to walk all the way around. Gonna hike around. Um, and then just be careful, like anything. If when you're yes. out in nature, just be careful. Look where you're at, look where people are jumping and you know, make sure there's an area deep enough for you to jump in there. Yeah, and I, <laughs> I would say if you're not native to Texas, if you, if you don't vacation in Texas, if you do anything in the water in Texas, you need water shoes. Absolutely, we learned that. and all that, you need late. water shoes. Do not <laughs> yeah. try to go out there barefoot, you will tear your feet up. Yes, which, uh, we got ours at Bucky's. They were seven dollars. Yes. Not yeah. saying that you're gonna get yours at Bucky's yeah. for seven bucks, but <laughs> Bucky's was a good place for us. Yeah. Um, in a pinch. I think we went in there looking to see if they even had them, yeah. and then we saw them for seven bucks, and I was like, "Well, these are worth a try." Yeah. Um, but yeah, you don't need a super expensive set of water shoes, but if you try to go in, uh, when we first got here, I went into the lake and I had just flip flops on. <laughs> flip flops will not suffice no, because the cut ground. It. Generally, the rocks are slick, mm -hmm. so you end up sliding out of your shoe. You need water shoes. Once you get water shoes, you can go through any trails, uh, any of those like lagoon areas, and with confidence, especially with your kids. Yes. Um, and then we brought a backpack, a, like a, one of those cooler backpacks, and so we were able to bring drinks and not sunscreen because we forgot sunscreen, but drinks and snacks, and it held my camera. And um, and so we were set once we got there to hang out for a little bit, which I highly recommend, especially if you have kids. Also floaties, um, you can bring floaties, and um, just so that you can stay and you can hang out and you can enjoy it for a little bit and not feel like you just have to like rush and get yes. back because the kids are hungry. <laughs> um, there is camping out there. You'll notice, like what like you said earlier, we are. Um, staying about 30 minutes away from Austin and so we didn't camp in the actual park but there is camping there there is um, 50 amp hookups and 30 amp hookups there's not that many 50 amp hookups um, but there is a bunch of 30 amp hookups just make sure that when you are booking you read the description to see the length of the site as with anything um, because there are a couple that seem like it'll fit a bigger rig um, but most of them are probably like 30 and under yeah. but you have water and um, electric no sewer um, but there is camping there if yes you we didn't camp. we didn't drop back to the camping but if I had the opportunity, I would probably either try to find a YouTube video of someone driving back there yeah. and or drive back there before you take your rig. Mm -hmm. uh, or just, Google Maps. Yeah, just because the roads, when we went in there, they were big. I just don't know how confident I would have yeah. been bringing our fifth wheel well, yeah. in there yeah. um, without knowing where I was going. Because, yeah, it's there's a loop, but there's also a bunch of like one-off roads that go into cul-de-sacs. Mm -hmm. 
which you know, just wouldn't be fun. <laughs> no. We are going to be creating a hopefully a couple more videos here in Austin while we spend the rest of fall here. So make sure you are following and subscribe to this channel for more Austin adventures. And until next time, we will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.